We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. And we are set for baseball here this evening. 1 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time, and the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. The left fielder. So the Jose. base is empty here with one away. Martin. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Skied down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Now the one and one pitch. Is laid off for ball two. All even now, two and two. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That is first. The second base. Number eight. In now, Brandon Lowe. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, D. Roy, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two out double right now, he's gonna have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. Here's the two and two. G-Man Choi would be next. The payoff pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. Andrus fields it cleanly. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. G-Man Choi the next to hit. Career against Kyle Gibson. The pitcher's own to me is a paltry one for 11. Two and one. Here it is. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And it's gone. To the plate now, Willie Adamas. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Some two out success to keep the top of the first alive. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Seven. The third baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. At the plate, Yandy Diaz. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's in time. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-2. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Up next for the Rangers, Matt Duffy. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Kiermeyer. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. 
hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. On to the lawn and gone. Into the box now, Joey Gallo. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here now the 2-2. A bouncer up the middle. Adamez scoops it up. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. At the plate now, Danny Santana. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And another foul ball. Gallo, the runner at first with two gone. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Second inning set to go. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Sonino. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. 1-1. One, one. Is going to be a drag bunt. He gets it down. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Joey Wendell digs in now, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Now the one-and-one one pitch. To two-and-two two now. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Scooped up. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Standing in, Shin Su Chu. We set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The one-two. Grounded down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Into the box, Ronald Guzman. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. to strike and it's full three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Stepping into the box, Robinson Chirinos. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Full count now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to three and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Payoff pitch one more time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martinez arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. So next to the plate for Texas, Rignet Odor. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1-1. One -one. In. 
into right field. That's a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. And now Elvis Andrews. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded. And there are two away now. Ready with the payoff pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. Up next for the Rays, Jose Martinez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Rounded slowly to the left side. Fielded cleanly. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Austin Meadows. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And it's gone as they add still another. to the plate now Brandon Lowe swing and a liner but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two stepping in and ready for another shot G-Man Choi he hit a big three run bomb in his first plate appearance a ball and two strikes now Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. The batter, the left fielder, Joey. Gallo. Standing in now, Joey Gallo. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. A ball and two strikes. In tight with the slider, two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Shinsu Chu will follow here. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone! So now to the plate, Shinsu Chu. Now Chu will lay off ball four here, and he's going to reach. Digging in for his second at bat, Ronald Guzman. He drew a walk his first time up. A 1 1. Hey, you know, in the back of your mind, as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0 2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Three runs already home here. 
Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with another 2-2. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Meadows has it, and there's one away. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. The 1-1 pitch. One and two now. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Full count now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the now inning is that misses for ball four. Hit to first. Scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. set for the start of the fourth into the box Willie Adamas it was a double for him in his first turn at the plate the 2 1 home he's outside for a ball well it's been a rough one so far four runs through three innings it's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long and it's up to a 3 2 full count now now the payoff pitch home Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Chu coming on. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The third baseman, number two. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-1. One, one. Hard hit ball to short. There is Andrus. And there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. The 2-1 home. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. He's got it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Peter Fairbanks will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 29. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go. Elvis Andrews. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. Hopped up. Choi is under it to make the catch for the first out. One gone in the Texas fourth. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. The one and two pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Kiermeyer coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. Now that the designated hitter. Stepping in now. Willie Calhoun. Swing and a soft liner. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. A full count to the Rays center fielder. 
you could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. And here's a slider strike now three that, called, that's and that's that'll be the first out of the inning. Rumble. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, well, trying to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw in time at first for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now batting. At the plate now, Austin Meadows. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here now the 2-2. Gallo swings and this one is crushed out to right field and oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet it's off the wall not in time and he's in there with a double now back, center fielder, Danny. at the plate Danny Santana hit hard on the ground a second and there's one down now Shinsu Chu at the plate now. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the 1-1 one, one now to Chu. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Line towards center field. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Up next to the Rangers, the first baseman. In now, Ronald Guzman. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Robinson Chirinos, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Lined hard to the left side, but foul. The next 3-2. Hit in the air out toward left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in to try it again. Now Robinson Chirinos. Yes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lowe. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 1-1 home. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Grounded up the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, G-Man Choi. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. 
So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth. And up next will be Willie Adamas. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Diego Castillo will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 63. Diego. Here's Rognet Odor now. A hit and two tries for him so far. The one two looked at for ball number two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Adamas picks it up, throws in time, and that's out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Elvis Andrews. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So two away for the Rangers here in the sixth. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. Grounded to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Luis Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45. Luis. Ready for another shot now. Yandy Diaz. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Into the box now. Mike Zanino lays off the slider that time. Two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. To two and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Here's the pitch on two and two. Doesn't chase after the splitter and he works it back to a full count. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that will hop over the wall and a tough break there as the time run will have to go back to third on the automatic double. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Into the box, Joey Wendell hit hard down the line. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. Kiermaier ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Now batting the left fielder, Jose. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. Line to the right side, but foul. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a base hit. They'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second. Now back. Right fielder. So now to the plate. Austin Meadows. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. Jesse Chavez comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. 
number 30. At the plate, Brandon Lowe. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The first base. Into the box now. G-Man Choi is working on a one for three thus far. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Willie Adamas will be the ninth man to bat in the inning, barring a double play, waits on deck. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So striding in, Willie Adamas. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batting. Third base. So stepping in, Yandy Diaz. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. Low is on his way home. The tag, and he's in there as they push the lead to five now. Now back. The pitcher, Mike Zanino. In now, Mike Zanino. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. Long throw to the plate. The tag's there from Torinos. He is out at the plate. Into the box now, Willie Calhoun. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. The 2-2. Two -two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And that ball misses four, ball four. four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batting. Here's Joey Gallo now. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous Gallo. plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out now number back. one. Better field Five field. runs, nine Better. hits. And one error in the ballgame for the Rangers. Yanked on the ground down the line. Oh, and it eats him up a bit to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Stepping in, Shin Su Chu. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. A 1 1 is taken for ball two. Two out with the man at first. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Here now the two two. Helpful. Ronald Guzman would be next. Now the payoff pitch home to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nick Goody is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. New inning set to get underway. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. 
The one two. That ball two. Into right field, that's a base hit. Now that designated hitter, Joey Wendell. To the plate now, Joey Wendell. Fastball well outside. Jose Martinez waits on deck. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch home. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now in the box, Jose Martinez. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Martinez. Runner breaks for third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Here now the 2-2. A man at third with one away. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Chu has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. How bad? So coming to the plate, Austin Meadows. Base is empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A-B. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Chaz Rowe will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Now with the plate, Ronald Guzman. Over two with a walk for him so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And it's fouled away. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Reined in. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Stepping up now, Robinson Chirinos. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 1-1. Misses for the second ball. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. In the dirt. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Count full. Three balls and two strikes. Three two pitch high in the air out to center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. One down.
Digging in now, Rubin Odor. He was a ground out victim last time up. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Elvis Andrews. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Now to the plate, Matt Duffy. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Swing and a liner. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. The runner from second crosses the plate. Stepping in now, Willie Calhoun. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. Cody Allen enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brandon Lowe. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. Settling in now, G-Man Choi. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Grounder down the line at third. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now at the plate now, Willie Adamas. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Yandy Here's a drive out to left center field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across now to score. So now to the plate Mike Sonino fouled off. Pitch on its way down to Zanino and that misses two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Lifted in the air out to center field. Santana is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Striding in to start the ninth, Joey Gallo, and they'll need him to get something going here. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Ball even at 2 and 2. Again, another foul ball. Another 2 2. 
Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. For the Rangers. Digging in, Danny Santana. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Hit sharply on the ground, and that gets through for a one out base hit. Up next for the Rangers, the right field. Into the box, Shinsu Chu. Chu with a two ball, one strike count here. And this will be fouled away. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And that's in there. Base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Colin Poche enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. At the plate, Ronald Guzman. Swing and a miss, strike two. Smoke toward the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. In to score, the runner from third. Now by Hector Robert Jones. In now, Robinson Chirinos. Up high, two and one now. Fouled away. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. So here's the left-handed bat of Rube Nidodor. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Chop down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Texas down to their final strike in this one. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Nick Anderson takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Elvis Andrews will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. This is line to left, but he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. If you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard proved to be all the difference. 12 to 7, the final score in this ball game. The Tampa Bay Rays hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Diego Castillo claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. Tonight, paid attendance at Globe Life Park, 48,114. The Rangers thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you and good night.